The first set of reactions was the reporting of the incident and reactions in the press and the media trying to clarify what this was all about. It was met initially with a lot of disbelief on the left wing of the political spectrum. Uh, the reactions was pretty much that this is what was to be expected from a, a, a populist um, right-wing politician uh, from a party that has made a critical stance towards immigration, one of its main planks is its, its, its platform. And from the um, more right-wing of the political spectrum, uh, there were very few comments and a, and a little bit of uh, sort of disbelief uh, or trying to say that this this was all based on a misunderstanding. The second set of reactions um, came more today and they came from her own party uh, and those reactions uh, were to say that uh, this did not represent the party and this was misunderstanding and she was told that when you visit a foreign country you uh, you follow the rules of, of of courtesy towards your host so her own party in effect has uh, has told her off has disavowed her of her comments and hmm. um, so, so here in New Zealand, people are um, quite surprised at what they see as very rude uh, comments for a person being a guest in another country. Um, how surprised were you when you first heard of this uh, story? First of all, I think it's an expression of the fact that that people, even politicians, underestimate the the global reach of social media. They they think that they can come with uh, smart little comments on their Facebook page at home in Denmark and at a dinner conversation you would have where you were saying well I visited this country and this strange things happened and nobody would think anything of it but here of course it immediately reverberates back and is, is taken as indeed it was uh, an example of, of um, a lack of cultural sensitivity hmm. Um, how can people in New Zealand with a little or no knowledge of the Danish People's Party understand the comments uh, Krarup made? I think they can they can see the comments as the uh, expression of a of a person who uh, does not have much understanding of what multiculturalism really means, or perhaps even uh, a great acceptance of what multiculturalism means understanding that multiculturalism really is about respecting other people's customs for what they are, other people's customs. Hmm. Um, how would you briefly describe the Danish People's Party? The Danish People's Party is a um, populist um, right-wing party. Its chief platform have uh, been critical towards uh, immigration, particularly uh, immigration from the Middle East into Denmark. It has sort of uh, traditionally nationalist overtones. They are they're strong on defense. Uh, they're strong on support for uh, king and country. Uh, and they're populist in the sense that they're a strong supporter of the welfare state. Uh, they, um, they support uh, an expanded welfare state, but for Danes. And they're very sus suspicious of globalization. They're very suspicious of the European Union. Uh, and they're very suspicious of internationalization. Um, how normal are the attitudes that uh, Krarup voices in her blog entry in the rest of Denmark? I think the, um, the attitudes here are, are expressed here are are really the uh, attitudes of a uh, of a of a careless person who expresses lack of sensitivity, um, and careless and insensitive attitudes are probably to be found in any population around the current country. The difference here is that it's a, a politician who comes on an official visit, uh, because these types of attitudes can be found in any population, probably also in the New Zealand population. What do you think about the media coverage uh, of this story? Well, 
in the grand scheme of things, this of course is a is a very 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 minor little uh, little incident. Um, it's a it's a remark um, made uh, that that showed lack of sensitivity towards multiculturalism, but it has no political consequences. Uh, it has no immediate impact. It's not going to impinge on Danish New Zealand relations. <laughs> it's it's not it's not going to be any any lasting effect on anything. Um, but um, it is an interesting example of the fact that. Um, no politician, uh, even how minor they are, uh, can uh, can speak uh, without being careful of, of uh, expressing their, their comments in such a way that they come back to their host, even when they talk on social media far away from where they are. Hmm. Yeah, it might not seem like uh, Maria Krarup fully understands the um, immediacy of uh, social media and that her uh, her comments could be used uh, against her. Um, how, how do you see uh, that? I would imagine that, uh, that, that, that this is not something that she expected to happen. She... Um, uh, she's a quite often used media commentator, and she likes to uh, have this sort of uh, contrarian point of view uh, on many issues. Uh, so she's used to creating controversy with her statements. Uh, but I think, in fact, since this was not a publicly expressed sentiment, in, or public in the sense that she wrote it, that, that it was something that, that she intended for public consumption in, in reality. So. Uh, in that sense, it shows poor judgment on her part. Mm. Uh, other other uh, media angles that um, Danish and New Zealand news media could have um, used that were overlooked? Um, well, I haven't seen all of Danish media nor all of New Zealand media, but um, uh, it it, it is it is an example of how the media uh, on on issues like this take small events and um, and and blow them into big things. I mean, after all, even though I think it was very poor form of her to express these sentiments, uh, I also think that this is not a case we'll be talking about a couple of months from now. Um, so, Krarup's main point is that the multicultural developments here in New Zealand can be, um, in a way, tied to a cultural and military decline in uh, the country as such. Uh, and, and you are, of course, very familiar with international politics and reporting. Uh, what is your point of view of this? I think it's giving her, given her state, giving her statement too much importance to say that there really was a, a political foundation underneath what were uh, careless and insensitive remarks made about a reception. Um, I think we imbue it with far too much importance because it's it's not really a political statement that has any import in terms of Danish-New Zealand relations.